Well, the White House says Harvey's floodwaters damaged or destroyed nearly 100,000 Texas homes. At least 51,000 claims have been filed with FEMA's National Flood Insurance Program, but many victims have no flood insurance. Here's Jim Axelrod. In Crosby, Texas, the floodwaters in Consuelo Ibarra's kitchen, the one she finished remodeling just last week, rose to her knees. Water got all the way in to the top. But like so many others, since her home is outside FEMA's map of high-risk flood areas, she did not buy any flood insurance. We were always told that we were not in a flood zone, so we didn't need to get it. It's going to be somewhere around 15 percent of the homeowners in the, uh, in the affected area that have flood insurance. Do the math, says Mark Hanna of the Insurance Council of Texas, and that means five out of every six flood victims have no flood insurance, even though the cost was as little as a few hundred dollars a year for those outside the floodplain. Oh, we're talking about thousands of people who are just now getting back to their home, uh, seeing that they've got considerable flood damage, and they're going to do what they can, but they're on their own. The Small Business Administration will offer low-interest loans to rebuild, but that's on top of existing mortgage payments. FEMA will make grants, but they're capped at $30,000, and the average payout historically is $5,000, says Carolyn Kuski with the University of Pennsylvania's Risk Center. The bottom line is, while there may be some federal help, it generally will be capped and limited, and if you don't have flood insurance, you may face a financial calamity. Yes. And I think it's important for us to think more going forward about how we can make sure that a much greater number of people have flood insurance so that they have the financial resources they need to rebuild after an event like this. Almost no private insurance companies offer flood insurance. Virtually all flood policies are government backed. But there have already been 100,000 claims for damaged vehicles and another 100,000 expected for wind damage. Those are made on private insurers. Margaret? Pricey disaster, Jim. Thank you.